Hello, Matt from Drobo, and I'm going to give you a live demo of how to map an iSCSI volume to your host. At Drobo, one of the things that makes us unique is we try to make storage as hands-off as possible, and that includes mapping volumes. You know, with a traditional SAN, you'd have to know a lot about the underlying technology in order to map an iSCSI volume to your host. With the Drobo, it's very simple. So here, we have my Drobo dashboard. I've created my volume called Demo Map, and now I'm going to click on this volume to map it to my host. First thing it's going to do is it's going to ask me what drive letter. I'll go ahead and pick W and then hit OK. So with Drobo, we're going to handle all the iSCSI volume, uh, not only creation, but mapping for you. So all of the back end happening automatically. You know, for a lot of folks that are brand new to iSCSI technology, it can be a little daunting. You know, what's a SAN? How does iSCSI work? What's a discovery portal? Well, with Drobo, we handle all of that for you. But let's say maybe you're a little more iSCSI savvy. You want to set some custom multipathing rules, maybe some failover options. Well, you can still come into your iSCSI initiator, go ahead and map that over to the Drobo. For us, we're just RFC spec iSCSI at that point. But by design, we try to be as simple as possible. And the majority of our users are just going to use the dashboard, click on that volume, and then map it to the host. But here, I can go ahead, go over to my computer. I have my T drive. I have, you see, I have some folders created in here. Great thing about iSCSI volumes is they're going to be what's called natively formatted. And what that means is I have full integration with my operating system. So here, I formatted my volume NTFS, so I have full integration with Active Directory. If I was doing VMware, I would have formatted it VMFS and would have full rights and roles there inherent. All right, oh, looks like our W drive is mounted. If we come over to our system, we see I have a W drive, demo mat. I can come over here to properties, see I have a 16 terabyte thinly provisioned volume. This drive is now ready for me to go ahead and install my application and go ahead and start serving data off it. With a Drobo, it's just that simple. Click on the volume, we'll configure all the iSCSI settings for you, and then you're off and running.